Hello, we are going to draw an ovoid given its minor and major axis CD and AB. The first step is to draw a vertical line in the center of the screen as can be seen here. Now we are going to transport the line segment CD onto our vertical line. So now setting our compass to the length of the minor axis CD, we will set our compass on the previously marked point C, which we will scribe an arc cutting our vertical line at a new point D. The next step, we are going to calculate the perpendicular by sector of the minor axis CD. To do this, with our compass set on point C and a radius slightly greater than half the radius CD, we scribe an arc to the left and the right of the vertical line. And now, with the same radius and the compass centered on point D, we scribe another arc which intersects our previously drawn arcs at two points, as can be seen here. And now we will join these two points and prolongate on both sides, as can be seen here in the video. Where it cuts the minor axis CD, this will be the midpoint O of the minor axis. We call this horizontal line with lowercase m. The next step, we are going to draw a circle centered on the point O and with radius OC. This circle cuts the horizontal line M at two points, A and E, as shown here in the video. So now the next step is setting our compass to the length of the major axis AB. We are going to transport it onto the horizontal line M from point A. So setting our compass on point A, we scribe an arc, cutting the horizontal line M and we obtain another point B on this line, as can be seen here. So the next step is setting our compass to on the point E, and with radius EB, we are going to draw another small circle. So now with our compass set to the same radius and set on the point D, we are going to mark a new point on the minor axis, which we will call F, as can be seen here. Now we are going to join point F to point E. The next step, we are going to calculate the perpendicular bisector of the line segment FE. To do this, with our compass set on the point F, and a radius slightly greater than half of the length FE, we scribe an arc above and below the line. And now with the same radius and the compass centered on point E, we scribe another arc which intersects our previously drawn arcs at two points. And now we will join these two points and prolongate it until it cuts the minor axis CD at a new point which we will call N as shown here in the video. So the next step setting our compass on point 0 or O and with the radius OM we draw a semicircle to the left until we cut the vertical line on point M as can be seen here. These two points M and N are going to be two centers of our ovoid. They are going to draw the other two centers. So the next step we are going to join points N through E prolongating the line until it cuts the small circle. This is a tangent point of our ovoid. So now we are going to do the process again joining points M through E until it cuts the small circle until we get our second tangent point as shown here. So the final remaining step is to draw the ovoid. To do this, setting our compass to the radius OC, we draw a semicircle with a thicker line from point C to D, as can be seen here.
now setting our compass on point N and with the radius ND we scribe an arc until it meets our previously drawn tangent point as can be seen here. And now with our compass set to the same radius and set on point M, we join point C to our second tangent point, as can be seen here. And finally, to complete the ovoid, we set the compass on the point E with radius EB. And we complete the ovoid by joining the two tangent points. Finally, we mark our four tangent points with the capital letter T, as shown here in the video. Here we have the ovoid given its minor and major axis. I hope this video has helped you.